Hi, today we're going to teach you how to get our horse ready to ride. This is Phil, our 17.2 hand perch on draft horse. Um, she is very old. Um, we have three different brushes that we brush her with. We first have the mud scraper. The mud scraper is used to get like thick chunks of mud out and hard chunks, which we use when she is very muddy. Um, so if we get like big chunks of mud out with it, um, Next, what we use is called a curry comb. A curry comb is used for getting the dirt underneath her fur, which you go in circular paths with the fur direction, so that way you don't hurt her. Um, when we do that, we go circular to get more dirt out. Once we get done with the curry comb, we use the medium bristle brush, and this one has a strap to so put your hand through. Um, and then you like go down with her fur and you can also use this on top of her. Um, when we are done brushing, we do what is called a picky hooves. So this is a hook pick. It has a hook right here to be used to pick out the mud and dirt and gravel. Um, when we pick up her feet, we say, we grab the hook and we say pick up. We grab her toe, and when we take this, we pick out dirt and mud out of her feet. But we can't get too far deep because then we'll hurt the frog on her foot, which can really hurt her. Um, and then we work from the front to the back when we pick the hooves. Once we are done picking hooves and getting all the mud out, um, then we take this pad, which has a line down the middle, and we take and we throw it up higher on the horse, and we move it down so that way it doesn't pull her hair up as we need to saddle the fit. So then once that is set in place where we need, we are going to use our Abeto Synthetic Western Saddle, um, which we have right here. Um, then we take this and we throw it up there to try and get her um, thing. When you're going around the backside, you always want to be touching her so that way she does not get spooked. When we have the cinch over her body, we got to grab it and bring it over. And then we take this billet and we use this and we take and get that through the hole and then we take we make sure it's not twisted or anything or kinked so then we come up and we go through this down to the left and then once we get it down and through we pull it and then we have to get we sometimes have to pick this strap up a little more to get this through. And then we come over and then we go back up and through the other side. Yeah. Um, once I get it through, I gotta go under this hole here and then through it and then you pull tight. And then once you're pulled tight, you go get the girth we know no. the bit bridle what i got the bridle it, this piece goes in her mouth this was called her bit um when we put it on her a little bit tall so i might need help with getting the bit in and putting it over her head as she's being a bag so sometimes she does not want to open and when we put her thing on this hole up here we put her ears through so that way her ears are not tucked back. And once we get those ears through, we have to get both through to make sure. We take and we take the chin strap. We go up through this buckle here. Um, 
And then once this buckle is tight, we put it through this hole that the clip goes through, which tightens it. And then you can slip it like through just like your normal belt buckle. And then you have a bridle in, which the bridle has the reins attached to it. So you take the reins and you have to put them on top of your saddle. So make sure that you have those. And you have to go to the other side to put the other one up. And then once I get this one over and up, I can come back over and it is done. Thanks for learning with me how to saddle my horse to ride.